so let's take const sub equals new promise so we have this promise keyword in javascript promise class in javascript and we're going to create a new instance for this promise so we're, we're going to add this new keyword over here new promise and this promise takes a callback which has a resolve and reject keywords inside of it now inside of this we can write our asynchronous code like if we are trying to fetch an api or whatever that we're trying to do that will return some promise which will be fulfilled or rejected so we can write that code over here so for now let's just write our set timeout code because that's an easy example of an asynchronous code right so let's give it 2000 milliseconds and inside of it i'm gonna take a result variable which is true for now and if result is true then we're going to resolve this promise that means the promise is fulfilled and to resolve this we're going to use this resolve keyword over here so i'm going to say resolve and subscribe to roadside coder but what if the result is false what if the guy is not subscribed to the roadside coder then we're going to simply reject the promise then we're going to say else reject and we're going to throw a new error new error why aren't you subscribed to roadside coder yeah that's a good question so yeah let's try to run this and how do we run this how do we execute a promise and i'll show you one good thing that i like about promise so if we execute the promise we can say dot then then means if the promise is fulfilled we will get the result in then and if the promise is not fulfilled if it fails then we're gonna get the result in catch so you see how this promise handles error right out of the box so and then i'm gonna say res and log res answer this error so i'm gonna say console.error err so let's see let's check it out and since as you already know this is an asynchronous operation then this will first run the synchronous code and then the asynchronous code over here so start stop and then subscribe to roadside coder great but what if our result was false then we will get an error over here why aren't you subscribed to roadside coder 